Hey guys, Scope Say CX, welcome back to the Green Star Guide of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today we are getting on back on back on track with World 6, and we're doing pretty much everybody's favorite galaxy. Throwback, yay! We get to do it as Luigi. Now it's more like a Super Mario 64 DS throwback. But yeah, sorry I really haven't recorded much. The last episode I uploaded that I wanted to upload that earlier, but I was playing Firefight on Halo Reach with one of my cousins and he said it was lagging and I probably figured that it was the upload doing that. So I had to cancel that upload and I think I did it like Monday or something like that. No, I think I did that Sunday. Because yesterday I went to a buddy of mine's birthday party. It wasn't really a party so much, it was just him, me, and one of our other friends. So anyway, our first green star is pretty close here to the beginning. Uh, it's not that one, is it? Oh, I think it's that one. Holy crap. Uh, it's this one. No. It is the next one over. And there it is. Nothing too terrible here. I, I pretty much remember where all these green stars are. But yeah, I'm loving my Xbox 360 right now. I downloaded Banjo Tooie, and uh, I've downloaded that. Sky Pokemon in the game, and I'm g gonna download a game called. Uh, well, no, I've actually downloaded one more. It was an indie game called I Made a Game with Zombies in it. This game is actually pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna download a game called Comic Jumper: The Adventures of Captain Smiley. I'm really excited to download that because I played the trial and I've so watched a buddy of mine play it. It's such a funny game. Oh my god. And I will say that my next Let's Play is definitely going to be on my Xbox. So yeah, that'll be fun. The next screen star is actually like right involving that ch uh, thwomp. I almost called him a chain chomp. What am I talking about? But it definitely is nice for me to get back, get for me to be getting back to recording Galaxy 2. Considering how much I've been playing a 360 lately. I mean, usually on break, whenever I'm on break, I would normally say up to like, uh, midnight at the latest. But I've been staying up to like 1 in the morning because my 360 and my Wii remote is just being retarded. Alright, we will spin to kill you. Long jump. I wonder if you could triple jump up there. I want to try that. Oh sweet, I can. Alright, so what you need to do, get the thwomp down here, now get up on his back. Be ready to backflip, because you have to get on top of him, actually. Okay, that did not work the way I wanted it to. Probably because my Wii's hating me because I've been playing my 360 so much. Alright, so anyway, like I was saying, I wonder if you could actually get that with... Alright, sweet, I got it. Now all you have to do is just ride this guy until you're over by the star. I'm word my chain my thwomp friend er enemy friend of me. I'll call you a friend of me right now. Oh man, I missed it. Hold on, I wanna see if I can triple jump to that. No, that did not work. Oh you can, that's actually really close. I wonder. Okay, I did the anime. I did the sound, but the animation didn't go through. One, two, three. Oh, no, that didn't work either. All right, this one's a little bit tricky. It's because of the fact that you have to like. All right, sweet. I did it. There we go. That one can be a little bit tricky to get to just because, like, the way he walks is really awkward when you're on top of him. I mean, you wouldn't notice it when you're on the ground, but he, it's just really awkward when he's walking. But, I mean, the end of the year is coming up pretty soon, so I do not know how well it might, how long it might take me to finish this game up. Alright. There's that. One more here. 
And then we can move on to Battle Belt and Slimy Spring. I'm I'm not sure if I want to do the Galaxy Generator in this episode or not. Prankster Comet detected. Green Star number three. Da da. And it does involve the cloud flower for this one. It's like way out that way. It's like so far out that way you can't even see it. But you'll see it once we get to it, hopefully. Because I remember Nintendo Capri Sun had like took it took him forever to find this green star. It was so funny. But yeah, I'm pretty much sure that I, I'm gonna be beating him at getting the green stars. In fact, I'll probably beat another Let's Player, Nicola Nintendo. I'll probably beat her at this too. That'd be awesome. Just because I've been abusing the the no time limit thing like nobody's business. I right, so you have to actually long jump out towards the screen. And the worst part about this one is that you can't even see it. There we go. Well, you can see it, but you can't see it from out there. I mean, look at how far you go out from the galaxy itself. It's pretty ridiculous. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is head on to Battle Belt. Just wanna check my guide really quick. Yeah, all these are actually really simple for Battle Belt. It's just getting to each one of the stars. It's just getting to them that takes the longer time. So unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Throwback again. We didn't really get to spend that much time there. So yeah, we're coming up on the end of the game pretty fast here. Pranks are come detected. Green star number one. But yeah, when I was playing Banjo Tooie, I was in Glitter Gulch Mine. I was at the part where you have to go around in the mine and in the storage center, and you have to find all the six of dynamite and break them apart. That is so annoying. All right, where is he? Hey, come here. How dare you hurt the mighty Luigi? Okay, are you serious? There we go. But yeah, it took me forever, but I finally did it. Oh, I'm so glad I finally got it. Alright, come on. And the only reason I got Banjo-Tooie before Banjo-Kazooie was because that Banjo-Tooie was on sale for 600 Microsoft points, and I couldn't pass that up. Banjo Kazooie was still 1200. But I think that the point system for it is actually really strange. Because, I mean, they give you more options for buying on the console. Like, you could buy 400 points for $5. You could buy 800 points for $10. You could buy 12. You could buy 1600 for $20. Uh, something else for 30 probably. Um, I'm trying to think of what else you can do. Oh, you can buy 40 for 15 for 50 dollars. But really, why would you want to buy that many Microsoft points? But hey, whoever wants to do that, they can. All right, the first green star you probably just saw it. It is right on top of here. Nothing terrible with that one, really. I mean, all these, they involve getting on top of the locks. But the problem is it just takes forever to get from planet to planet to planet to get your freaking green star. It really does. Oh, and I also got a printer for Christmas. That's pretty awesome. I got Halo Reach, Call of Duty Black Ops. Did I mention I got the Connect bundle for Christmas? Because I, I don't think I did. I did. It's actually pretty fun. Connect is actually pretty fun, but... I mean, if you want to get it, you can. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. But it is fun. I The bundle that I wanted to get was uh, Xbox 360 Slim with a 250 gig hard drive that came with uh, Forza Motorsport or something like that and a game download for Alan Wake. I still got the 250 gig console, but I got to connect with it and connect adventures, which I was not expecting at all. There we go. Okay. Let's move on. This is just a really boring galaxy. 
I mean, this would have been not bad in the beginning. Oh, I just kicked them back to the lava. The, I could have seen them doing this idea in, like, the very beginning of the game. Like, maybe World 2, but why World 6? The only reason I can understand this one being in World 6 is because of the... Ah, not that. Not that. Because of the, um... The... Gobble Get Battle 2.0. That's the only reason I can understand them doing that. Wait, did this galaxy have a co uh, combat mission? I can't remember if it did or not. If it did, it was probably something ridiculous. Alright, good. I got everything with the Fire Flower. That is something that you want to do in that galaxy. All right. I kill you. Ah, are you serious? Let's kill you for your star bits. There we go. And the key appears on the other side of the planet. He's got a key nose. And now we have to go back down here. Alright. I mean, it's nothing bad with that one, really. Just let me get a coin. If I can ever get one. Alright, there we go. Oh, sure enough, I got a coin as I was going out. Well, that's just stink if they gave you that green. If that is the pipe launch you up into the green star automatically, it's like the, you can never hundred percent that game if that happened. All right. Ooh, sweet. Got them both at once. Or no, no, I didn't get them both at once there. So we're just moving on. Go to the crossroads. Ah. No, dang it. Are you serious? There we go. There's another key. Oh, I forgot. The next green star is actually on this planet. That's awesome. Alright, come on. Can I get up there? Okay, seriously. Did I just fail at that? There we go. Yeah, when I failed at the crossroad, I failed at getting up top of this. I should call this Battle Fail Galaxy. <laughs> Man, yeah, that, that reminds me. I never called Flipsville Fails when I went there for the green stars. But then again, those green stars were actually not that bad. But these ones take forever just because of how annoying they are. But yeah, I can't wait to do Slimy Spring. That one's going to be fun. This is a nice short galaxy. Alright, I pretty much know where these the next one is. So I just wanna look here. Ah, okay. I know where everything is at now. Yeah, I mean I don't know, I've if I could finish this up, the green stars are really not that far apart from well I guess they kind of are in Slimy Spring. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And I have to go through this whole freaking galaxy! Oh, I hate doing this one. It's like, hey, you you went through this galaxy like three times. You thought it was bad then, right? Well, guess what? You got to go through it another three times. Yay! Thank you, Nintendo. Nah, but I'm just kidding. I love Nintendo. I like Nintendo just because I've always loved Nintendo. But I like the Xbox because all my friends have it. Actually, like Halo Reach and all that stuff. That those are really fun games. And, um, yeah, I can play Banjo-Kazooie because Nintendo didn't bother to put those out on the virtual freaking console. And they put out, uh, Mario Party 2 on the console, on the virtual console. Yeah, and you've never thought of putting out Banjo-Kazooie. Do you realize how many people would buy that if it came out on a virtual console? Alright, come on, come on. There we go. Let's inhabit there. 
We have to go all the way to the end of this galaxy. Which kind of deliberately sucks. There we go. Another game I'm actually pretty excited for coming out is, uh... Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That game is gonna be fun. Uh, Black and White. Pokemon Black and White comes out in March. That'll be cool. 3DS comes out next year. I won't be able to probably get that until, like, maybe Christmas. Or if I get a job, I could probably save up and buy it. But, I mean, I would like to keep my, D my DSi for a couple of years at least. Because, I mean, I've only had for one year. They're coming out with a 3DS. It's like, really? You really just did that? But, hey, life goes on. Just like I wish this galaxy would go on. This galaxy's taking forever. Yeah, thank you for having short little, like, plants where you get to do nothing on them like that. Alright. There we go. Alright, so, um, I watched Grown Ups with my family. That movie is actually pretty funny. Ah, dang it. Get back here, you stupid mole. I'm not telling you yet. Yeah, this is the only place in the game that they appear. Okay, I'm seriously bouncing off of rocks like nobody's business. I don't know why they had to take off that, like, little top part with the keyhole. It's not like we can't just jump under it. Alright, there's that. Give me your coin. That. Ah, oh, man, I still, I still didn't wall jump off this wall. Wait, maybe I can. I, maybe I can still get the chance. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I want to actually do this. I want to do this at least once. I know I'm just wasting time out of my own... Okay, you know what? Just screw it. I'm not going to be able to do... I'm not... I can't do... You can! You probably could with Luigi. But it's not like I have enough time. It's like, I want to get on with this game. And look! There's the final green star! So, yeah, we don't have to put up with the silver chops, and we are done with this galaxy. Thank God, that was so monotonous. I'm, it's not even funny. And that makes our, what? What green star is this? 224. Nice. Yeah, I've got a lot of star bits left. So now we move on to Slimy Spring. Yay. Slimy Spring is actually a fun galaxy. I, I'm, when I first played it, I'm like, what is this? I don't get what it's supposed to be. But now I kind of understand that it's just like... It's one of those easygoing galaxies where there's like nothing really bad in it. It's just nice. Kind of like an underwater ruins kind of thing. I mean, it's definitely cool. It's like this secret cavern that hasn't really been it hasn't really been touched by humans before. Well, I mean, except for these fires, how did they get here? All right, there's that. That. I still haven't figured out how to dive in this game. I probably should do that sometime soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna dive once you get down there by the shell. And the shell makes everything faster. And I know this first one is like right by a, uh. I'm so used to Banjo 2 E controls. Yeah, when you're swimming, down is down, is up is up. Not up is down, and down is up. It's so weird. How those controls are inverted. I mean, I guess I could invert that in the options, but I'm kind of getting used to it already. And I believe it is right behind this one. Yes, it is. There we go. And our shell just dies. But there is our first out of two green stars. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do only one, one more star, and then I'll cut it. 
Cause I mean, the rest of the, the rest of the stars that are left are only two stars per galaxy, so that is not terrible. Except for Stoner Cyclone. Oh my God, I do not want to do that galaxy. I really don't. That's gonna be my least favorite galaxy, but I have to do them in order. But hey, that'll be another episode. Well, what is today? Today's the 28th. And I only have like, I only have three days to finish this game up by the end of 2010. I don't know if I could do that. I mean, with the way I'm playing my Xbox like crazy right now, I don't know if I could do that. I mean, if I had, had to go out and buy the Xbox, then I could, could have seen it getting done, but hey. Oh yes, I got the dive! I did it, oh, that was so cool. All right, spin to grab a shell. No, really. That's like, and waste my precious breath. No, thank you. <laughs> I wish there was a way you can go faster with this shell. I really wish there was. But I mean, it's not bad. But I still don't get the music here. I probably will never get the music in my life. I mean, it's kind of like a natural feel, like nothing's going on, it's just a really relaxed galaxy, but still, I don't understand, I probably will never until a lot later on in my life, if I even have the Wii, have the Wii by that time. Alright, there should be a coin around here somewhere, right? Nope, crap. Oh, wait, no, there's one right down there. Go, 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 the green star's right down here too, I think. Oh boy, get the coin, get the coin, get the coin, yes! And the green star's like right here. Do not activate the uh, uh, launch star. And it's just right here on the side. Oh, there it is. Alright, so that is green star number... Well, not green star, just regular star total of 225. So that is some good stuff. Oh, no, that was 226. What am I thinking? Alright, so that is going to be it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I will see you guys next time.